Dear Atoy, I received a job away from the city in the little town of Locke on the Delta, where I was the bodyguard of what they called the godfather of the Delta, Li Bing, who was one of the co-founders of Locke. When I first arrived in the town, it felt like I was walking in my village back in China. Instead of experiencing hatred and violence among Americans, all I saw, all I saw were Chinese people who all spoke in the same Songshan dialect. And there were Songshan ran markets, restaurants, dry goods stores, pool halls, gambling halls, and many more businesses of the Songshan origin. Immediately, I felt like I was at home through the familiarity and comfort a sense from the town and its people. I entered the Dai Loi Gambling House, where I was supposed to meet Charlie Lee Bing. This was one of the six gambling establishments he had in the town, which was a great representation of an immigrant living the American dream. Inside the whitewashed walls of this building, it was packed with people of both white and Chinese backgrounds, crammed together in small, green circular tables scattered with ca cards and money. I was introduced to Li Bing inside of the money room and I was blown away by how brilliant this man really was. He told me about his philosophy of taking the pauses from each chi American and Chinese culture so they will have the technology from the, from the American side and the culture and philosophy from the Chinese side. It combined the best of two worlds and I was able to become a better man after learning this. That night before we left to go to Stockton, he and I went down to Key Street, which was one of the only two streets of Locke. He took me down the street and went to every house to check up on everyone that lived in them. There were families with a husband, wife, and children, and there were houses with men who were from the Chinese Bachelor Society. They were very friendly and polite to me and offered me food and drinks and asked a lot of questions about where I'm from and about my family. Even though I was simply the bodyguard for Li Bing, these people treated me like I was their dearest friend. After we checked up on everyone, Li Bing told me something that I would never forget. He told me that he didn't become a successful businessman who owned seven businesses because of the money. He became one in order to help out people from his community, just like those who were living on Key Street. Then, the unthinkable happened. Once we were walking back to the gambling house on Main Street, we saw a man walking up to us who was very big and intimidating looking. He looked like he was going to pull something out of his pocket. I became gravely suspicious and told Lee Bang to get behind me because I suspected that something was wrong. Before I started to approach the man, I heard a loud bang and a shatter noise that happened to a window right next to us. I realized what was happening, and I ran back towards and tackled Li Bing to the ground, and I used my body as a shield to protect him. Then I heard a barrage of thunderclaps until the sound suddenly stopped. After a second or two, I got up with my hatchet in my hand, looking around to see who was shooting at us. Then I saw across the street that a teenage kid with a black jacket was being pinned to the ground by multiple men. After I made sure Li Bing was okay, I realized that these men worked at the Chinese restaurant that was across the street and they were just closing up. After the kid was arrested, I realized what was happening. I saw a town where everyone treat each other like family and would go to great lengths to protect each other. Then I saw it was no different than this kid and how I was also falling orders from a tongue like him. At that point moving forward, I didn't work for the Tong anymore, and I had a better opportunity working for Li Bing as a manager at one of his gambling houses. I am much happier and at peace with myself, and I'm close to making enough money to bring you over to America, and I'm counting down the days until that happens. Love, awe, song. I don't care about what laws stand in our way because I want you here to start a family with me in the one place that I truly call home, Locke.